So, yeah. So when I, when I first met um, Jeff, the founder of Trade Desk, he was starting a company in a market I knew really well. Uh, my, my startup had been in that market um, and uh, I had invested in a, a couple of companies in that market already. So I knew what he was trying to do. Uh, and it, obviously he was, you know, an amazing founder. And, and, you know, and I think it was the, it wasn't clear to me or to anyone, I think, whether what he was doing would work. Um, you know, he was, he was taking a different approach than everybody else. So everybody, and, and it was a crowded market, right? The, the ad tech market at the time was crowded. Um, and he was saying, you know, everybody's doing it this way. I'm going to go do it this way. Um, and and it, he had a really hard time raising money. In fact, it's, you know, he, it was not easy to convince people to invest in his company. Um, and for me, it was, it, you know, I didn't know if his way would work or if the other way would work. So I invested in both of them. I invested in companies in both ways, <laughs> um, which is what you can do as a venture capitalist. You're, you're running a portfolio, right? So, you know, I actually, there's a blog post I wrote, God, it had to be 15 years ago, where I said, here are five different ways the ad tech market could turn out. And uh, I invested in four of them, that four different ways. The fifth way, the ad exchange was already, already too well developed for me to invest in. But the other four were still open. And I said, one of these four is going to be it. So let me invest in a company in each of these four ways. Uh, and Trade Desk was one of them, and they ended up being the winner. Can you describe your framework for making investment decisions, especially in early stage companies? How much do you rely on data versus intuition when evaluating potential investments? Well, you know, so I invest um, as early as I can, right? It's usually, you know, two people and an idea. Um, so there's not a lot of data. It's, uh, you know, there's data about the market they're going into. There's data about competitors. And, and I use that data. You, you know, I, I focus in specific markets over, you know, they change over time. But at any one point in time, I'm, I'm focusing in a couple of specific markets. So I know the markets pretty well. Uh, I don't have to go out and do a bunch of research because I've already done that. So when people pitch me, I can, I can evaluate whether, the, whether they have a good idea or, and if they know what they're doing. And typically, I only invest if they know a lot more about the market than I do. So, but I, but I have a, a basic understanding of you know what they're doing and, and whether it will work or not, who the competitors might be. But other than that, there's not a lot of data. It's not like they have you know two years of income statements that I can look at or or any of that kind of thing. You know, they may be talking to some customers um, or know some customers, and I could talk to those customers. But they, it's pre-product, so I don't think a lot of that kind of um, due diligence is is you know going to get me anything. But that's, you know, it's different, right? Depends on your stage.